Happy Monday, everyone. New week, fresh start. Hope you guys had a good weekend. Um, I know it's been really cold, but hopefully it will warm up soon because I have to be bombarded with 100 water balloons from the staff because we had 10 people call in and say that they wanted me to get, um, or to take me up on my dare, or it's really kind of the staff's dare. So I'm gonna see if Mark and Mo and Julep will maybe hold off to later in the week till it's a little bit warmer so I don't get, you know, super frozen and super sick. But um, for the 10 of you who called in, we still have your name on the list. I will remember who you are. Just kidding. It's all in good fun. I'm glad you guys are calling in and enjoying these things. Thought I'd give you a little bit of rundown of this week's package while I had your attention and the place all in my lonesome. Um, included in this week's package of fun, hopefully you see it in a funner voice than I do, um, my welcome letter, me just rambling on and on, you know how it goes. I'm um, just reminding you guys that next week is a holiday, so we are not at work on Monday, so we'll be around on Tuesday delivering your packages. And it's really important, guys, if you have any leftover supplies that you're not going to use, or any, especially these paint containers. I have bought every, every paint container in the city. I can't buy any more, so we need these returned. Just leave them out on your step for us on Tuesday morning, and then we will gladly take them back, refill them for whatever we have in store next. Um, as usual, your little motivational moment. Um, so put that wherever you would like to see it. And uh, the last crossword was a, a secret word was a pretty big hit, I heard, so I did another one. Um, obviously, I was a fan of purple this week. So this one is um, all about Winnipeg. It's a bit of a big puzzle, lots of words, um, which are on the second page that you have to search for. So it's all about things that we um, see and do in Winnipeg, like the jets and the bombers and um, some parks. So all about Winnipeg. So try that out. I also tried something new doing a crossword. So um, the crossword is all of your names. Um, I'm giving you some clues. If you paid attention in our, our Christmas quiz a few years ago, it's pretty much the same clues. So you might be able to figure out who it is. So have fun with that. Again, take a picture when you've accomplished it. Let us know how you've done. And as for the activities this week, um, Jula put together a sort of name that tune game. So here's your answer sheet to go with that. We know you guys love and know all of the tunes. Oh, there goes our super seniors. That's okay. Um, next up is the found this really, really cool recipe um, for moon dough. So we've tried making slime here. Slime is super messy, gets on everything. Um, this is a really cool alternative and it's things you should have at home. You need cornstarch and conditioner and a little bit of food coloring. Um, I would suggest if you don't want to use your good hair conditioner, to just go get the cheap bottle at the dollar store. Um, so we'll be making that together this week. We sent the recipe home for you. Also things we are making this week, um, is honeycomb toffee. Now, um, this is like an old school dessert. I remember it um, as a kid. We used to be able to buy it in the store. So now we have a recipe for it, so we're gonna try it. It could be an epic fail, it could be awesome. So hopefully you can try it at home as well. Just remember this stuff is gonna get super hot, so be very careful. And if you're too hot, you can always make your own ice cream or shake your own ice cream. So we found a recipe for making your own ice cream. Julep's gonna walk you through that. Again, just things you have at home. It's milk and sugar and vanilla. And you need some ice. So fill your ice cube trays now and hopefully you can make some ice cream with Julep. Um, this would have been fantastic. Fantastic on those homemade brownies. Don't know if you guys had a chance to do those, but whoo, they were so awesome. So awesome. Um, one more craft we're gonna do here this week is um, clay jewelry, so clay pendants. So you've gotten a little bag of clay along with the necklace to go with it. So that's in your package. I'm trying to be a little bit neater and, and write them out for you. So here's your clay, here's your necklace. You do have enough clay to probably make yourself two or three because, well, depending how big I guess you make your necklace, um, but they should be fairly thin. And just remember when you're making it, to make sure that you poke the hole big enough so that you can fit through the necklace thing. 
So if you make a couple, you can change them out using the same necklace. And these were just pictures, just for some I found for inspiration. So as always, get as crazy as and carried away as you would like. It's totally up to you. Whatever you would like to see or do. Match your outfit, match your mood. You know how that goes. Also this week, we will be doing a paint your own picture frame. So you have a picture frame in your package. However, I know you cannot go to Walmart and develop any pictures right now. So just in case you didn't want a plain old boring picture frame, we added, we printed out a picture for you. So, don't we look awesome? Right? Looking pretty good. It was just something to try and make a smile and, and, uh, and fill up the frame for you. So you also got um, the bag with the paints. We put some jewels in there in case you wanted to bedazzle it. If you have any sort of other craft supplies at home you would like to add, feel free. That was what we had around here, so I thought you guys might like to use it. And also, so far, our staff on a stick have been a really good hit. People are sending us pictures, and I figured how can I keep that going, because working right now, it's me, Mark, Mo, and Julia, which you already have. But I did make some phone calls to some lovely ladies, and they were kind enough to send me their pictures. So, this week you get two more staff on a stick. Ready? Winta, mermaid Winta. I cut off her hair, sorry Winta, but uh, you look good with short hair. Anyway, so look at Winta sitting all nicely as a little mermaid. And last but not least is, oh, sorry, Queen Elsa or Queen Leanne as she fondly likes to be known. Just kidding, Leanne. Um, so, there you go. Two new staff on a stick. Have fun, take pictures, be goofy, please. It's been so much fun making these. I'm gonna see if I can, uh, I don't know who else can get, get to send me a picture and make them on a stick, but um, it's been super fun. And you guys have been sending us pictures, so it's been fantastic to see what you've been doing with the staff on a stick, so keep it up. Because you are bringing lots of smiles to our faces by showing us how you've been doing and, and how you've been staying busy during this time. Couple things, um, it is Margaret's birthday on Thursday. So happy birthday, Miss Margaret. We know you never forget anyone else's and um, we will give you a big old birthday shout out on Thursday because of course, birthdays are a big deal here. Again, we have lots of cupcakes to eat when everyone gets back to celebrate all these birthdays. And I think that's about it. I will be putting up a new dare this week. I'm not sure what it's gonna look like yet. Um, hopefully it won't be anything involving me getting pelted with water balloons again. But it's all in good fun just to keep you smiling. Just a reminder, our live games are at 10 o'clock on Friday. Um, so make sure you're, t you're clocked in to our YouTube channel just a little bit earlier than um, 10 o'clock on Friday so you don't miss out on anything. And I just want to show you one more thing I've added to our channel, guys. So our channel is here. You should have found it already. If you click up here that says playlist, I know I've told you about this before, but I did add something new. Um, Captain Shelley has been doing some chapel services and things that, you know, try and keep your guys' spirits up. She sent you guys cards last week, hope you enjoyed them. So check out the spiritual care. I'll add to those as um, Captain Shelley puts them up or sends them to us. So. Again, if you need any, any, any assistance in that sort of area, please let us know and we will figure out how to help you the best we can. So hopefully you guys had a good weekend um, and we will see you all soon, hopefully. If not in person, we will talk to you on the phone and we will FaceTime with you and as always our YouTube channel. But if you need anything, anything at all, give us a call. You know the number, 783-0724. Okay. Stay well and we'll see you soon.